Here we are at the Cliffs of Kiwi Vineyards, 24 hour security. We're going to head on in and take a look at the other things. Here we are at 108 Coral Beads Way. We're in the Cliffs Vineyards. This is a bank owned home and uh, um, you know it's a very open floor plan. First of all, one thing that jumped out to me when I got in here is it looks like a Lindell Cedar home and believe it is. As you'll see the right side, we have three car garage. This is a four bedroom, three and a half bath house. It does have a covered dock. We're down in a cove and you've got a lot of privacy here. I was just talking to Matt about it the other day. I think it'd be a, a beautiful place to have a deer stand in the back if you could, but you can in the, here in the cliff. So anyway, it's got a lot of woods and, and nature at its best, I think. And again, a lot of privacy because you're coming right off the end of this cul-de-sac and uh, a large piece of property here. But let's head on down, walk in the house, take a look around and uh, show you the features of this wonderful home. Wow, coming to this place and the first thing you see is a lot of glass, fireplace, open, a lot of the wood. Again, really feels like that Lindell Cedar style home. And look out and you see all those wonderful trees and the privacy that you have. Um, let's come on in here to the kitchen. I don't know that you'll find uh, any kitchen area larger than this one, especially, you know, if you like to entertain, I mean, this is going to give you all the space in the world. Look at the cabinet space you have, all this granite, stainless steel appliances, uh, just a great setup. You've got the double, double ovens here uh, with a little holder down there at the bottom. So gas set up as you can see, that is propane because the fireplace was all, all already uh, set up as a propane too. Come on back in here, you'll see the laundry room. And then this car, as I pointed out up front, that this is a three-car garage. You can go a little bit further back on that side, probably could fit a boat in. And they do also have some, some storage space here. As you can see, this is a pull-down, so ample storage above the garage. Come through here, you can see we've got large decks, kind of a wraparound here on the back side of the house. Again, a lot of glass, a lot of privacy out there to the right. Now this is a monster master suite. Um, first of all, you've got the huge room in itself. And then as you go through the room, you've actually got another room off of the master room, which I guess this could be a uh, living room area off the master, just a place to come in here, maybe an office, uh, or just have your own little couch set up and flat screen TV on the wall, something like that. But a nice view down to the lake. And as you come on in here, we've got uh, all these nice built-ins, drawers in the master closet. For you ladies, plenty of room for your shoes. Come on in here, you've got the granite countertops again, tile floors, and a large, large shower. Separate toilet area. Jetted tub, but just a huge area. One thing we pointed out just a second ago, but look. Come on out here and you see you've got a wonderful screened in porch area too. Just overlooking the cove and the dock. Downstairs. Come on into the kitchen area down here. Got an additional kitchen. We've got three more bedrooms down in this area with another game room.
Now this is interesting because you've got a bedroom with a double walk-in closet down here. So it certainly could almost serve as another master. Don't see that, but very unusual. And then access into the bathroom. You have a toilet shower set up here. Access back outside to lower decks as you leave the bathroom. Come on in. Now we've got two smaller bedrooms here in the middle, but each, uh, again, nice views. These bedrooms do share this bathroom with stand-up shower. Now we come on into a large game room, certainly a place for the pool table, uh, flat screen TV setup, or just entertaining in general that you might have down here. And then off of this room, you've got a storage area. This particular house has three heating and air units. Uh, they are the train systems. As you can see, there are three of them in here. You've got the hot water heater, uh, wiring, but your mechanical room and certainly used for some storage. Now let's go outside off the back deck. When I talk about privacy, you just look back to your right and really you're not going to have anything you know, back that direction. So just a beautiful area down here, easily walkable. head down to the dock take a look at this house from behind got a very unusual setup down here. Um, nice shot of the house from the back side. Very unusual setup as you come down. Look at all this platform area that they have. Again, uh, great for entertaining down here by the water. The lake is down right now and here we are in the very back butt of the cove but yet you know you've got water. We measured it the other day and even with the lake down, we're talking two and a half, three feet depth under that dock, so no problem getting a boat in or out of here. And even when the lake's down. So that's certainly a good sign. Tell you folks, this is a deal. I mean, bank owned, Lindell Cedar, privacy, you're in the vineyards. You need to give us a call, 800-682-9098 if you want to set up an appointment and uh, get involved because this is a wonderful opportunity and great location. We're very close uh, as we're into this particular section. We're fairly close to the lake house and to the club itself, not too far off. So it's got everything going for it except for a buyer right now. So let's bring somebody in. Give us a call. Here we have a shot. Uh, we're down here at the park and also the lake house at the Cliffs Vineyards. As you look up, you saw the geese in the cove, but across the way, volleyball court. They have some picnic tables uh, out on the point. What a beautiful piece of property that is. You have some horseshoe uh, pitching areas, and then they also have a little community dock. As we come back around, you'll see the lake house behind me here. That uh, What a great place to come during the evenings. Uh, certainly, we did it some this past year. Come up, park your boat over here in the docks, come in and have dinner, eat outside. Uh, just a fantastic amenity that Cliffs offers.